Women of Reddit, what are some things guys think are cool, but are really a turn off? Bragging about your sex life. I don't want to know how many girls want you. It literally does nothing for me except think you maybe are kinda at all to girls. I had a boyfriend once tell me how he had sex at an early age, like 12, and in a very aren't you impressed? Sort of fashion. I thought it was a little gross, and asked how he got into the situation. He then told me that it was a party or some sort of get together, and he had sex with a girl he thought that was cute, and it turned out to be his cousin. We broke up soon after, and I haven't talked to him in years. Frowning or looking alpha in pictures. Nearly every dating site picture has a guy, backwards baseball cap, sternly looking at camera. Sunglass is optional. I want to date someone who is friendly and can smile. Trying to hit on a woman by telling her how unattractive you find other types of women, that is telling a bigger woman how ugly you think skinny women are or vice versa. Dick pics. Never in my life have I ever asked for one or even wanted to receive one, yet men hand them out like business cards. Please stop. Bragging about how much they can drink. No thank you, I dealt with my addiction problem in my early 20s, don't wanna go down that road again. Doing that thing during sex, where you move your hips in a circle. I would say one half of all dudes I fucked, and trust me, that number is uncomfortably high, do that move, and it does nothing for me. It does however take me out of the moment, and cause me to think what? This. Again. Comparing us to other women. Even if it's meant to compliment us, it's not a compliment for me if you need to push someone else down while saying it, FYI. Usually the girls I see here are so shallow and stupid, insert possible rant about the way they dress and the things they supposedly enjoy, maybe drop the word garden hoe or beach somewhere, but you. All I hear at that point is basically I hate women, but I want six, so I fake that you're an exception. Being mean to slash about their moms. I hope this isn't as common as my experience has made it out to be. I've known many guys who talk about their moms, like they're these annoying idiots or something, constantly bitching about them, or putting them down really casually. And I've met a lot of those moms, and most have been lovely. Claiming to be an alpha, or putting other people down. Trashing other people is just lame. There's a hundred conversations we could have, and you wanna talk about the waitress's weight. And the alpha thing is, to borrow a phrase, beat her off. Your cologne. Jesus Christ, spray the lightest mist in front of you, and step through it once, before you dress. That is all you need. Stop freaking dousing yourself in it, you don't smell good, and you are choking everyone around you with the obnoxious scent, and triggering my migraines. That throat thing, where they go overboard trying to bring up phlegm and spit on the pavement. It's disgusting honestly. From recent experience, how much they party, or did party in their past. I don't party at all, and I have nothing against people who do, but I don't wanna hear about all the times you got wasted in high school. Being stupid or clueless about feminine things. Like I see girls talk about asking their boyfriends to pick up tampons, and laughing at how the poor things just cannot navigate the aisle to save their lives, as if it's endearing or something. Like, can't he read? Tampax Pearl, regular, 18 count. Pick up the box and go, yeah adult. To be fair, my boyfriend is smart but real bad at finding things based on description. So I just send a photo of the box to his phone. He came home laughing and told me he came across a guy holding two very similar boxes with his phone, cradled against his shoulder. There's a wide selection, but it's not that hard to figure it out. Use some problem solving skills, and stop acting like they'll burn you if you touch them. When it's hot and heavy, and you go straight for the vag AJ. No foreplay except for some kisses. That gets so boring. When you shove your dung into my neck like a battering ram. I need to use my esophagus later to swallow food. When you think we will think less of you, when you say I don't know. It's okay if you don't know, just don't pretend to know something you don't. When you think we will think less of you, if you show emotion. 
I don't need you blowing snot bubbles and weeping uncontrollably, but a few tears every blue moon, or something lets me know you have a soul. When you call other women beaches or garden hose. When every time I put my hand on your arm, you immediately flex your bicep. You just made it weird. When you screw like a porn star. I don't want to have my back twisted, and my legs bent like pretzels in a position, where I can hardly breathe while you drip, sweat all over me, and I'm holding in a fart. Can we find a position we both enjoy? When you talk crap about your boys or your boys people over petty stuff. I know some of y'all, men and women, live for drama, but I don't get down like that. Those guys who follow the predatory pickup artist crap, who do stuff like compliment by insulting you, or just all around be alpha or chads or something stupid. I met a guy who thought and acted like this once, my favorite line he said was married women are the hardest to score, but they are the best, and tried his hardest to sleep with me too, and didn't stop trying. When he found out I'm gay, said that oh yeah, I've screwed some lesbians too. Absolute mind cancer. Being demanding to the waiting staff, I better hear good couple please and thank yous. Because that is a biggest indicator of what type of person you are, is how you treat your server just because you're paying, doesn't mean you have to be a jerk. Posting bitter statues about women on social media. Yes, we notice. Whoever hurt you, I'm sorry she did that, but complaining about how women ain't worth it beaches ain't worth it garden hose, ain't loyal on social media is going to push the very kind of woman you hope to meet away. I hate smooth talking. It sounds super fake. And if you're actually fairly good at it, that just means you've been practicing talking the panties off the ladies for a while. It's really no win. I hate the tough guy talk. If I had have been there, yeah. Uh -huh, I bet you would have. And lastly, I hate the I'm such a sensitive misunderstood nice guy ugh, Creepy. A guy I was talking with used mladi a lot, and it was so embarrassing to hear. Like, we're in college, and in our 20s, and around other people so it just seemed so odd that an adult would say that cringy phrase so much. It was so weird and people would just stare at him when he said it. Not surprisingly, he turned out to be a bit of an eckbird, that was not so pleasant the more you got to know him. I don't really like to judge, but he really had almost no social awareness which made things so awkward at times and obviously was all a huge turn off for me. Okay, I've got one, those guys who tell you how different you are from all other women, smarter, more eligible, whatever. It tells me that this guy has not previously had a very high opinion of women. Red flag for anyone with self-respect. Or it's just stupid flattery. Also, bragging. Guys, you may think you're being really clever and subtle, but you're not. We know you're trying to steer the conversation towards sexual topics. We know you're bad-mouthing other guys because you like us. We know you're saying you're not like that because you think being like that will turn us off. We know that half the things you say you hate about other guys, you do yourself. We know your protests about all of the above are because you think they'll count against you. But do you know what actually counts against you? Trying to be really clever and subtle instead of direct. When they brag about how many rocks they own. Oh my god, shut up. It's not cute, it's not manly, it's not alpha, you are owning rocks. Let me tell you guys a secret, those rocks you own, are owned by multiple people. You can't just claim you own a rock without physically being in possession of it. If I hear one more guy even mention a rock, I'm gonna kick him in his rocks. Reckless driving. Every date I've ever been on where a guy has come to pick me up he has fucking sped while I over the speed limit and did that ouchy one arm leaning on the window the other on the wheel thing. Are you trying to freaking kill me WTF? Pushing boundaries. If I say I don't want to satisfy your fetish, or send you nudes, or talk about your naked body, etc over whatever online tool we're using to interact, then I don't. I was literally asked by a guy I know to change my personality, just so I could satisfy his fetish. I'm happily married, not to him, and he knows it. Bragging about how many girls want you, but that guy doesn't want any of them back that pushes me away so quickly. Also bonus, a guy was telling me that his football mates got him into cocaine. 
my initial reaction to him was, oh that's no good, sorry to hear, and he apparently thought it was good and nothing to be disappointed about because he gets to have a good time.